Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. It will be for April 2021 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Angel, for Aries even, please Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aries. April 2021. Okay. Oh, two cards. Okay, Aries. Oh, nice. So I've got the Magician and the Empress. Very promising energies there. Very good in terms of money and career, those energies. Message for Aries, please. In money and career only, April 2021, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Aries. Thank you. Hmm. We have travel. I mean, this can also be a journey. Um, it looks very much like the Six of Swords as well. You know, where you're leaving troubles behind, especially with the Magician and the Empress feels quite a hopeful energy Aries okay and let's pull an angel card so what do we have angels for Aries April 2021 money and career only money and career only thank you interesting I've got detox your friendships your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with the people who are inspiring, generous and supportive. Interesting, Aries. That might resonate for some of you. Okay. So I'm going to pull five cards. And we'll see what we get. So what do we have for Aries, please? Money and career only. April 2021, thank you. Message for Aries. Money and career only. April 2021, one more shuffle. What do we have? Money and career only, thank you. For Aries, April 2021. That flew out. <laughs> we have the five of wands. I've got the Empress again, Aries, which is really strong. Um, this is an energy of what's going for you as well. The Ten of Coins is any obstacles to overcome. Oh my goodness, the advice from Spirit, Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Two of Cups as your outcome. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups there, Aries. And that's walking away from disappointment or leaving disappointment behind. Um, something that hasn't, you know, been enjoyable anymore. I mean, it, it feels in this energy that the, the time is right to take action. If you're actually thinking, and generally by this point, you'll be thinking about taking action, doing something about it. Because the magician is how we change a negative to a positive, an idea to reality, how we manifest. And we, you have all the tools at your disposal, earth, air, fire and water there, uh, combined with the blessings that the universe is shining on you to take action. This is a card of focused intention, the magician. Now is the time to really focus on the one thing that you really want to change in terms of money and career, because the Empress is saying the time is right. Um, the conditions are right. The, you know, the soil is fertile. The seeds are ready to be planted. She represents the birth, the potential birth of something new. Very, very good in terms of money, career, finances, because it's Venus in Taurus energy. So it feels in this energy, I mean, she is also an abundant energy, a feeling of lacking for nothing. And she's appearing twice. Now, for some of you, you could be meeting an empress. She's generally more of a feminine energy, a powerful feminine, um, maybe a powerful female that you're meeting. 
Um, the magician can also be a communication energy, so that might resonate for some of you, Aries. But as energies, these are absolutely now is the time to focus on what you want to change because you have the, abil the ability to create it. You have the ability to begin to make it happen. The new abundance. Uh, it feels very, very beautiful indeed. Okay. And it comes when there's, you know, the, the five of wands, it feels for some of you like there's there's struggle. Um, this can be struggle, but it can also be in terms of, it can represent competition areas. It can also represent um, you're going round and round, but you're not satisfied. You know, it feels like uh, if you're, for example, it won't be for everybody, but if you're staying in a, a place um, and haven't, you know, for whatever reason, haven't taken action because there's a feeling of dissatisfaction, um, a, a feeling of not being on, you know, somebody not being on the same page as you or a feeling of, of um, dis yeah, I'm feeling this energy of dissatisfaction for whatever reason. And you might have gone around the houses, you know, it feels like a few times, you know, shall I leave, shall I not, shall I leave, shall I not, shall I do something about it? There's definitely an energy here of the time is right for new abundance for you. Now, obviously, this won't resonate with everybody. It's something that you would have been thinking about already. But the Empress is new abundance, most definitely. Something is ready to be created, something new. She can tie in with new beginnings here. Um, and it's a bountiful energy. You lack for nothing with the Empress. There is a, a feeling of fulfillment. It feels like there's been either some dissatisfaction or again this could be competition to bring in the new abundance and there's definitely an energy of now is the time to take action with that magician to do something about it obstacles to overcome we have the ten of pentacles now the ten of pentacles can be it's, it's a very um a fulfilling energy in terms of money and career but if you're not feeling fulfilled if that is the obstacle to overcome in terms of money career finances it feels for some of you there's there's great it feels there's dissatisfaction in terms of money um finances how you're valued i'm definitely getting this energy and again, this can be a goal of wanting, wanting more money, wanting to be more financially secure, you know, wanting to be more fulfilled in terms of money, career, finances. So some of you might be thinking about that, Aries. If there has been some dissatisfaction in terms of your financial situation, you know, and that could be the root of what you're dissatisfied about. The message is... Now is the time, the time is perfect to do something about it. But like I said, you might be meeting a powerful female business person. Um, because there is a change of fortune. You know, the wheel, the wheel of fortune is an energy of... It is a card of, of reward. It is a card of, of karmic reward in some way it is a card of, of energy reward as well very much to do with the law of attraction what you've been working towards it is the universe giving you back you know what you've been working towards so there's definitely an energy of good luck good fortune expansion growth opportunity um, a real turning point available to you it feels for some of you obstacles are being removed right now the time is perfect to take action towards something and it feels towards furthering your your career uh, money business financial situation because there is definitely i mean the two of cups can be establishing a bond with somebody making an important connection like-minded souls individuals so again it might well be an empress you might be meeting somebody in business who you know connects to you on a deep level you know who who you bond with you know who you feel you can work with uh the conversation is easy the perspectives are similar you know similar outlooks it definitely feels for some of you that you might be bonding with somebody or making an important new connection here um it can also be offers or invitations and this is joyful energy offer or an invitation coming your way aries 
it definitely feels that there is a turning point between these two cards remember the wheel of fortune is that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings you know it's life cycle energy as one cycle ends another one begins and that could be represented in that two of cups and um, because for some of you it will enable you to walk away walk away from the dissatisfaction that you faced now yeah this can be struggle so any struggle in terms of finances or getting your goal um, like I said it can represent some kind of competition going for something it can represent just dissatisfaction you've been around the houses a few times you know it feels like you might have thought at one point to leave then you didn't then you thought again you know it's that kind of energy it just feels there's unrest in whichever way and Again, the cards remain the same. There is definitely some kind of change of fortune available to you. So the message is now is the time to manifest it and focus upon it with unwavering faith because you have the magic this month. Very beautiful energy. So Aries, let me just... didn't put the cards on the table so I just had to reach over <laughs> let's pull a final card final message for Aries please angels spirits guides my final message for Aries okay we have the owl sight detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control yeah and we have crane surrender let go of limiting beliefs be as expansive in your thoughts as in your soul I mean it's really opening up now um and getting clarity in how you deal with something that is either causing you struggle, could be competition, um, but it can also be this kind of dissatisfaction that has been going on for a time. And you've been kind of like, it feels like you've been dealing with this, going around the houses a little bit. Should I, shouldn't I, do I, don't I? Um, but I definitely feel in this energy, Aries, now is the time, everything's perfect. It's either a powerful woman in business or it definitely feels like now is the time there is new abundance coming your way. A new connection, offer invitation that will allow you to move away from the disappointment, dissatisfaction. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.